I'm Tracy Banks doing the Times Herald Record Newsroom with this News Watch update. Law enforcement authorities are releasing more information this afternoon on the killing of a Port Jervis shop owner and the arrest of a suspect in the case. 77-year-old Joseph Kutcher died of injuries suffered in the attack at his Front Street business uh, Friday night uh, with robbery the apparent motive. 29-year-old Dennis McBee of Poor Jervis was arrested in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania and has been charged with second-degree murder. Merchants in Port Jervis are setting up a fund to help the Kutcher family. It's being called uh, the largest marijuana seizure in the history of the town of Deer Park. Town police got a tip Saturday that the delivery of 51 pounds of pot was being made to an empty residence on Wren Lane. Police surveillance was set up and 31-year-old Alan Simonson of Port Jervis was arrested on a felony marijuana charge. The marijuana has an estimated street value of $225,000. As of 12.30 this afternoon, the westbound lanes of Route 17 remain closed between Livingston Manor and Roscoe as a result of an accident involving a tractor uh, trailer hauling garbage that uh, veered off the highway, demolishing guardrail and spilling most of its uh, garbage cargo. The accident happened last night at around 11.30. Driver was not badly hurt. The state police were hoping to reopen one westbound lane at some point this afternoon. A groundbreaking ceremony will be held Thursday at the former Sophie Finn Elementary School in Kingston to mark the beginning of construction on the new SUNY Ulster Kingston Center, new satellite campus for SUNY Ulster. Uh, the plan is to move all of the SUNY Ulster courses to that location. They are currently being offered at the county's Business Resource Center on Ulster Avenue. And officials at the U.S. Postal Service say the agency was the victim of a cyber attack and that information about its employees, including uh, social security numbers, uh, may have been compromised. A Postal Service spokesman uh, said customers at local post offices or those using its website were not affected. The FBI and other federal agencies are investigating. With this News Watch update, I'm Tracy Baxter.